Hey everybody, welcome to the Gub Show. Now, you're probably wondering, what is this and why are these two guys on my computer slash mobile slash whatever you're watching this on? You know, what is this? Anyway, uh, me and this guy had the bright idea of making a kind of talk show vlog and we were only going to do this in one take. So, this is our first take. Uh, we had other takes that were just sort of like, you know, make sure the footage was good. And our setup is pretty bad. Uh, Brandon, do you want to uh, take a picture of that and post it on our Twitter? Also, our Twitter will be available whenever this video is uploaded uh, or posted or whatever we do. Uh, Brandon's getting that picture. Uh, I'm getting the topics all set up for us. All right, we got a couple of topics here that we can be talking about. Um, but I'm going to spin uh, the topic wheel. You want to spin the topic wheel for us? Do I ever? All. Oh, oh, it looks like it's, uh, uh movies. All right. All right, movies. Uh, all right, Brandon, what's the most recent movie you saw? I saw Batman v Superman. Me, me, me too. Uh, let's see. We'll, we'll try to keep this spoiler free. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, we'll edit that out post-production. Okay. No, we won't. Actually. Yeah, we, we. If you but, heard that, then I'm sorry then for spoiling the movie. Anyway. But anyway, uh, what do you think of the movie? Um, it disappointed me uh, <laughs> on all aspects. <laughs> it didn't make any sense. Um, the only good thing was Hans Zimmer, of course, composing the uh, the music. Um, really saddened me. Didn't think it was quite worth the 950 that I paid. So I mean, I'll definitely give it a 9.5 out of 10. All right. Yeah, I thought the movie was pretty good. Uh, Start of it was really weird. There's like this old guy who's in the building, and like it, it flashed back to the old Superman or new old Superman movie. And you know, Zod and Superman are fighting. If you haven't seen that movie, go watch it. And um, uh, I'm telling you, we have zero takes. Can you, are you gonna take that? I don't think we tell Keanu we can't. I'm really sorry about this, folks. Uh, as, I said, don't as, as I said, don't one take. That's it. <laughs> I love you too. Okay. Ah. All right. Anyway, we're back. Okay. Anyway, this old guy in the building, things blowing up. He's just like, oh, what? And then you know, Bruce Wayne. Uh, who, who's the actor again? Uh, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Uh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he calls the old guy, he's like, hey, uh, get everybody out of there, and he, like, turns around, Superman's, like, going into a building, big lasers are going off, the guy's like, oh, maybe I should get everybody out of there, and he ends up dying, and it's like, what does he say, like, God help us all. Yes. And, yeah. um. At that moment, I, I thought the movie was going to be really bad, but it does make up for it with all the action packed, and, uh, just go watch it. Very good. It is very good. All right. Next topic. Uh, let's see uh, on our wheel here. Uh, it says uh, games. All right, Brandon, you want to talk about this topic? What's a, what's a game you like? A game that I like, aside from Kirby and uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Shards, of course. would be the new Call of Duty, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I mean, boy, talk about... Just uh, recycling the same game and putting new weapons in it, people just eat it up. How many hours do you think you put on it? How many hours? Uh, probably 50, 60, 70, 80 maybe. Maybe 100. I definitely wouldn't say that that's out of the picture. What, what prestige are you? I am 6th prestige. But I'm almost seven. Oh. Yeah, see, I'm just a uh, third stage or something. Now, not only is this game just like every other Call of Duty game that's ever come out, 
it also has stuff within it that you can pay for. So not only do you buy the game for $60, then you buy stuff within the game. At least it wasn't as bad as Advanced Warfare for you. Let the record show. Chandler has more time on Advanced Warfare than I do. But I have less money spent. All right. <laughs> That's a low blow. Okay. Darn you, <laughs> Keanu Reeves. But... Where are you when I need you? Let's see. Call of Duty. Okay, let's actually talk about the game right Black now. Black Ops 3. Okay. You know, decent game. Every Call of Duty game's good. I mean, come on. It's Call of Duty. Big franchise. You're going to pay for it. You're going to buy it. And you're going to play it until the next one comes out. Yeah, it's just sort of what everybody does. Anyway, um... Uh, Pretty fun. Um, oh. Grapefruits are good. Grapefruits? Mm -hmm. I seem to have hit a soft spot. And I forget that Chandler is not only allergic to grapefruits, but that they in fact make him vomit if he sees one. The good thing is, uh, here in America, grapefruits have been extinct for about 27 years, so nothing to worry about. Oh, here he is. He's back. All right. Uh, next topic. Uh, let's see on our wheel. Um, ooh, this is a good one. Internet trends. So, what have you seen uh, pop up in internet recently? You know, the big stuff. <laughs> um. Well, I don't think that you can get on the internet without seeing the date, and <laughs> it happens to be uh, April 1st. Uh, hey, um... What is that? Is your ear piece on? Oh, gosh. It was muted. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. It's... Is it what? Jeremy? I'm sorry. Um, I'm fired. I, uh... Yeah, this is my last episode. Wow. Wait, that's the first episode. Who are we going to call this with? Don't bring up April Fool's Day. Jeremy's in one of those moves. Oh. Call Drew. Call Drew? Okay. Oh, gosh. Well. Goodbye. See ya. First episode, folks. Goes rough. I don't have a car. So I'm back. It's Brittany. Squid. And I'm back. If you don't get that reference, uh, Office, if you don't watch it, I don't know. You're on your own. Anyway, uh, mm. as I was saying, or as you were saying, which was completely wrong, it's called the... Dave? The Dave? The Dave. You know, they, they Dave, and then they... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm familiar with this. Um, when I was a young boy, my grandmother would make me mac and cheese, and I would spill it all over myself. And she would get a warm, uh, wet washcloth, and she would date me with it <laughs> until I was clean. I believe this is what the kids are doing these days. The date. They're dating. They're 